Next week, Judge Neil Gorsuch will come before the Senate Judiciary Committee for the hearing on his nomination to the Supreme Court. Senators from both sides of the aisle will have an opportunity to hear from him directly, ask questions, and listen to the testimony of others who are familiar with his professional background, abilities, and character. I know we're all looking forward to his hearing and to learning even more about this exceptional nominee. But here's what we already know about Judge Gorsuch. The American Bar Association, an organization that the Democratic leader and former Democratic chairman of the Judiciary Committee have deemed the gold standard for evaluating judicial nominations. What have they done? They've awarded him its highest rating, unanimously well qualified. Leading liberal lawyers like former President Obama's acting Solicitor General Neil Katyal and former President Obama's legal mentor, Professor Lawrence Tribe, sing his praises. Mr. Katyal says that Judge Gorsuch is an extraordinary judge and man whose years on the bench reveal a commitment to judicial independence. Professor Tribe says that Judge Gorsuch is a brilliant, terrific guy who would do the court's work with distinction. To that list, you can now add former law partner and longtime Democrat David Frederick, who is a board member of the Liberal American Constitution Society. Other board members of the ACS include people like former Obama Solicitor General Donald Verrilli and left-leaning law professor Erwin Sherminsky, among others. So the ACS is anything but a conservative group, yet now even one of its own board members has backed Judge Gorsuch nomination. In an op-ed recently published by the Washington Post, Mr. Frederick called Judge Gorsuch brilliant, diligent, open-minded, and thoughtful. He went on to say that, quote, Gorsuch's approach to resolving legal problems as a lawyer and a judge embodies a reverence for our country's values and legal system. The facts developed in a case matter to him. The legal rules established by legislatures and through precedent deserve deep respect and the importance of treating litigants, counsel, and colleagues with civility is deeply ingrained in him. Mr. Frederick, who practiced law with Judge Gorsuch, states that over the course of his career, Gorsuch has represented both plaintiffs and defendants. He's defended large corporations, but he's also sued them. He has advocated for the Chamber of Commerce, but also filed and prevailed with class actions on behalf of consumers. We should, Mr. Frederick notes, applaud such independence of mind and spirit in Supreme Court nominees. And as the judge on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Tenth Circuit, Mr. Frederick observes that Judge Gorsuch has not been the reflexive, hard-edged conservative that many depict him to be. He's ruled for plaintiffs and for defendants, for those accused of crimes, as well as for law enforcement, for those who entered the country illegally, and for those harmed by environmental damage. As this self-proclaimed longtime supporter of Democratic candidates and progressive causes points out, Judge Gorsuch will be the type of justice each of us should want on the high court. And though he knows he may not always agree with Neil Gorsuch's rulings as a jurist on the Supreme Court, Frederick says we need justices like Neil Gorsuch whose approach, who approach cases with fairness and intellectual rigor and who care about precedent and the limits of their roles as judges. So the bottom line is this, Mr. President, the Senate should confirm him because there is no principal reason to vote no. No principal reason to vote no. Let me repeat that. The Senate should confirm Gorsuch Frederick said because there is no principal reason to vote no. This is a board member of the left's flagship legal group in America. And on this point, he happens to be absolutely right. So as colleagues on both sides will continue to find at next week's hearings, there's simply no principled reason to vote no when Judge Gorsuch's nomination comes before the full Senate.